So let's now go ahead and add some links in our application and let's see what React Router makes available for us to do this. And if we take a look in the API, we have two different options really for links. We have a link and we also have a nav link. And we'll be using both of these in our application but the main difference between the two is that when we use nav link it's going to also add styling attributes to the rendered element when it matches the current URL. And let's see how this works. And what we'll do is we'll head back to VS Code and what we want to do is open up our navbar now. And inside our navbar, what we want to do is say that our menu item and we can use the as to render this as a, a different component but with the same styling. And what I'll do is I'll just use the first link at the moment and we'll auto import this from React Router DOM. And when we use the link, it takes a to property and we can specify the path that we want to go to when we click on this link. And this one is for our home page, So we just want to add a forward slash as its path. For our activities, we'll do the same thing. We'll say as equals link and then we'll say to equals and forward slash activities and we'll do the same for our button and we don't need this on click anymore and we can say as equals link and to equals and we'll just say forward slash create activity and if we take a look and go back to our browser what we should find now is that our cursor changes to a, a hand to represent this as a link and we can click on the menu items and we browse to our different pages in our application. Now the only thing is the menu bar isn't highlighted to show which particular menu option we've selected and that's where Navlink comes in and if we go back to the documentation this automatically applies an active class name to our menu item and the default given class is active and this matches with what Semantic UI uses to show when a menu item is active. If it's got an active property then it's going to display differently to a non-active link. So all we need to do to style our links is to say instead of link we'll use nav link and we'll just do the same for the activities and we'll do the same for the button as well. And if we go back across to our browser, we can see that, okay, so that's not great. We've got two links highlighted at once, but if I click on reactivities, that's highlighted. If I click on activities, that's highlighted. And if I click on create activity, now this is going to be a little bit harder to see because when I hover over this, there's not a great difference between active and non-active, but if we click on this, then technically that's active as well and when we click away we can see a subtle change in the button there. But we're seeing both of these highlighted at once and we basically need to use the same thing that we did on our routes that we do with our nav link and we need to give this an exact property as well. So let's head back and and in our header we'll give this an exact property and if we go back to the browser we'll find that now we only see one of these highlighted at any one time. So far so good. What we'll do next is we'll take a look at adding a details link. So instead of displaying our card on the right hand side of our page, now our details component is going to be given its own page and we'll take a look at that next.